Hey guys, what is up today? This is Ken Lin, and today we are going to talk about one of the most insanely troll matches I have ever seen. Alright, this is my clanmate Hyperfire. As you can see, he is using the Sparky Royal Giant deck. There's the Royal Giant, there's the Sparky. So, the thing about this guy, he is an absolute monster with the Sparky Royal Giant deck. He throws cry face for some reason, but, you know, this guy seems like a pretty nice guy in chat. He talks pretty well, and I like to meet him in real life one day. He drops the elixir pump, a wise move for such an expensive combo. The Royal China and the Sparky costing 12 elixir for each of them. So, so he's against a guy called Spider-Man. He's going to place his Sparky in the back. By the way, I know you guys know that I you know you guys know that I hate on the Royal Giant, but, you know, when this guy uses it, he just uses it magically, you can say it that way. So I don't know why, but he accidentally clips the King Tower there, probably an accident, but watch this. He zaps that deadly combo of the RG and the Sparky, and he's even gonna freeze it. This Spider-Man, along with his Splash Damage Dragon and the Prince, I think they are going to do some pretty good, decent damage to the tower. So I was pretty right. The minions were destroyed by the dragon combined with the archers, and he drops a cry face, which, you know, I can't blame him. I'd be pretty sad if I lost about um, 2,000 damage on his, my tower, straight up like that. You know, it's pretty hard to come back from this. He's going to fireball that entire bunch, taking out the Dark Prince's shield, clipping the king tower again, because why not? He already destroyed it. And watch this. He's going to pull the Dark Prince away. That's a wise move. If you don't want it splash to get to your tower, you know, just pull it with some spear goblins, skeletons, normal goblins, you know, you name it. Some cheap troops, even fire spirits would work. Fire spirits do a decent amount of damage, even taking off the shield probably. So he's gonna drop another pump, and hopefully he can come back and even come back against this P.E.K.K.A. that's coming down here. The P.E.K.K.A. is level 5, so Unfortunately, it is not level 4, if you know what I mean. Level 4 epics are already pretty dangerous, if you know what I mean. And this peck is level 5, along with a level 5 Dark Prince. Level 5 epics are, you know, just monsters, especially to this lone level 10 hyperfire. Hopefully he can survive this, and no, he takes a huge, a heavy beating from this, resulting in 900 health left. Let's see if we can come back, fireballing the princess, and Sparky going off on that prince, which unfortunately has a sliver of health left, which will get finished off by those minions. And he, and the minions, yes they do, they destroy that tower, and the dark prince goes down with those minions. So, looks like they're kind of even, I guess, hopefully. It's going into overtime, and he has the barbarian Sparky push going on. If he can just drop that Sparky... No, sorry, not the Sparky, the Royal Giant in the middle, and do the... <laughs> oh man, that's that's honestly so troll, that's so troll. I wouldn't want it done to me, that's how he wins. I wouldn't want that done to me, but, you know, the man's gotta do whatever he has to do to win the game. Hyperfire, let's have for Hyperfire, Master of Sparky and Royal Giant, along with some minions for, you know, some pizzazz. That's the deck, thanks for watching, this has been Channel Dan, and I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Not episode video, bye.